Hey, sister. BC sector. Tag her. Captain Long, the target's in sight. Oh no, the police. You Don't be oh. slick, you old witch! Come look. A big Church of Almighty God leader. God, please guard my heart. Give me faith and strength. I want to stand firmly and witness for you. I won't betray you like Judas. Level with me. What is your role in the Church of Almighty God? Are you a main leader? Who are your leaders then? Answer! We actually have no need of a confession from you. To tell you the truth, we've been monitoring you for three months. We know all we need to know about you. You used to be a newspaper reporter. You're now a leader of the Church of Almighty God. Is that correct? Whatever job I hold in the world, or duty I perform in the Church, is it against the law? Isn't religious freedom explicitly stipulated in the National Constitution? My belief is within the law. What authority do you possess to monitor me? Or to arrest believers of God? What authority? Listen up. In China, belief in God is a criminal offense. You of all people should grasp that the Chinese Constitution does not represent the CCP's policy. Your belief may align with the Constitution, but it violates CCP policy, so your faith is an offense. The Communist Party's policy is law. You mean to tell me you never figured that out? <laughs> the CCP is an atheistic party. Atheism and theism, by definition, conflict. How could the incumbent CCP tolerate belief? Man is created by God. So is everything in the universe. God rules over all, including humans. Man's belief in God is just and proper. What right does the CCP have to deny citizens religious freedom? On whose authority does it deny believers the right to life? Why are believers of God not allowed to live in the land of China? Zhang Xinyi, you need to grasp the situation. You must grasp that the CCP hates most God's appearance and work, and believers of God like yourself. It especially hates the truth in the Bible, and the Word appears in the flesh. These are the two books that the CCP hates most. Without both of these books, believers of God would be no more. Citizens would follow the CCP. That's why the CCP will not ever tolerate you believers. Within China, Believing in God is a dead end, especially for followers of Almighty God who are more formidable than those of Jesus in witnessing for God. For that alone, we must deal with you more severely. When you're home and secretly meet, the CCP will arrange for sub-district offices, village committees, and neighbors to monitor you and then arrest you. To those of you with particular influence, we dedicate personnel to track and report real-time intelligence on you and to round you up whenever you congregate. When you leave home and are in exile, the party will offer bounties for your quick arrest. You will be captured sooner or later. Even when you have fled overseas, the government can use diplomacy and other means to extradite you. We'll drag you back at all costs, for immediate torture and imprisonment. Why is the CCP so willing to invest this much manpower as well as money on suppressing religion? Its goal is not only to ban and eliminate every religion, but to exterminate and eradicate all who believe in God. Troops won't be withdrawn until the ban is done. Abolishing the work of God and the Church of God and making China an atheist domain 
is the CCP's religious policy. <laughs> now that I've said this, do you still dare to talk about reason and law with the CCP? Now that I've explained the policy of the Communist Party, how do you feel? Is there anything else you don't understand? From all that you said, I grasp it. All of the CCP's insane suppression of Christians is meant to abolish religious beliefs and make China an atheist domain. Do you really think it's possible? Has any country become an atheist domain? In the whole world, I don't know of one. No existing power in the world can abolish people's religious beliefs. Communist governments have always wanted to ban religious beliefs. Have any succeeded? Not only did they fail, there are more and more believers of God. What do you think that's all about? This proves that God is the master of all. It is the spirit of God at work. Is man able to ban it? Almighty God says, Of everything that occurs in the universe, there is nothing that I do not have the final say in. What exists that is not in my hands? All that I say goes. And among men, who is there who can change my mind? Nothing can hinder my plan. If the ruling party keeps acting against God, isn't it going against heaven and the natural order? Enough! We're interrogating you, not you interrogating us. Judging by what you have said, you're definitely a church leader, and a big one at that. You better start talking, if you don't want to be tortured. I warn you, today we'll let you tell us who your leaders are, and where the church money is. This is your chance to make up for your mistakes. But if you dare to refuse, to answer honestly, don't expect to walk out of here alive! Captain Long? Hmm. Look at this one. Who is she? What's her name? Is she or is she not your leader? She's my friend. Is it a crime to chat with a friend in the park? Tell us, your friend in the photo, is she the one you called sister on the phone? Did you ask her for 2,000 books of God's word? Did you think by contacting secretly and speaking in code, you'd get away with it? You underestimate the Chinese police force. All of our surveillance equipment was imported from the US. It's the world's most advanced equipment. No matter how you talk on the phone, we can recognize your voice. And we can spot when you're speaking in code. We've mastered the codes you most frequently use. You'd like to escape from our eyes? Not a chance. We'll give you the opportunity to explain now. This is your chance for leniency. If you're stubborn and refuse, don't blame us for what comes next. Our instruments of torture aren't for the weak of heart. With us, the tightest lips will loosen and sing us all a tune. Your monitoring tools are certainly advanced, but you are misusing them in blocking and banning the work of God as well as arresting Christians. What law have we broken? What could God's incarnation to save mankind be guilty of? Why do you want to ban God's work of salvation for man? What other country has their police monitor Christians like this? You spent so much money to buy such sophisticated surveillance equipment. 
to monitor, track, and arrest Christians. But is it even legal in the first place? If the CCP rules by law and respects human rights, why do believers feel the need to talk in code over the phone? Isn't the CCP the root of all this? The government violates the citizens' right to religious beliefs and deprives believers the right to life, then turns around and convicts them for violation of law and order. Isn't this a case of the thief crying, stop thief? Explain to me who is violating the law. Is it believers or you? Hey. <laughs> Your words reveal that you still don't grasp the CCP. Why is the Chinese Communist Party so against God as well as God's work? It's because Christians like you believe in God's word and not in the CCP's word. In the eyes of the CCP, you are its enemies. You violate the CCP's policy, which is worse than committing a crime. According to the past policy, it should be treated as counter-revolutionary, even though the saying of counter-revolutionary is banned. Since you violate CCP policy, you are now the CCP revolution's target. The CCP will completely ban and eliminate you all. Am I being clear in what I explain? What you have said clarified everything and helped me understand the CCP. The CCP is quite determined to oppose God and to fight against God to the end. What I don't understand is what good does it do for the CCP to be the sworn enemy of God? By resisting God, will the country be more prosperous? Will the people be happier? Within the age of law, God proclaimed a man, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy to thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Since ancient times, all who act against God are punished. The persecution we endure for belief in God is only temporary. The punishment for resisting God, that is eternal. God's disposition is unoffendable. Damn it! You dare try to spread the gospel and witness for God here? Do you not know who we are? We're devils committed to fighting God. We don't accept what you stand for. We're the disciples of Satanist Karl Marx. We're atheists. If God were real, I'd still deny him. I'd rather perish in hell than accept God. You preach gospel and witness God here. You're courting death. You want to talk heavenly justice? Then talk heavenly justice. Ah! Still want to talk? All right. Today, Zhang Xinyi, I am going to help you clearly see who's the true master of your fate. You will see if it's truly God or if we're the master of your fate. Hang her up now. You like that? You're comfortable now? You'll get the full treatment if you don't tell us all. Let me tell you, we have countless ways of fixing God-eyed people like you. Want to bear witness and pledge allegiance to God? Want to be a remarkable witness to Him? I will let you be a Judas, a disgrace to God. First, I'm going to post your pictures online. Then I'll post you have sold out your church and become Judas. I will ruin your name. Everyone in your church will forsake you. When I'm done, you won't be able to clear your name. There'll be no chance of it. <laughs> Let's see how you'll face the people of your church. I will know the evil you are capable of. Framing the innocent, 
spreading false rumors? <sighs> These are just a few of your tricks. But God is righteous. God examines everything. God knows whether or not I am Judas. Your words don't count. Shh. <sighs>